So as you guys know, it is winter time and up north here, winters are pretty harsh. So usually if I can't physically fish open water, then I'm stuck doing videos like this. And today we're going to be talking about jigs. This is everything you need to know when you're getting started with jig fishing. So with today's video, I'm going to keep this as simple and straightforward as possible because since you clicked on this video, you're either a good subscriber of mine or you're newer to fishing or you're just looking to expand your knowledge on jig fishing or just fishing in general. So I'm going to keep it really simple and I'm going to go over the rod, the line, each type of jig, where to fish them, and some good trailers for them. Now when I jig fish, I like to break it up into four main types of jigs. Those being the swim jig, the football jig, the finesse jig, and the flipping jig. Now of course you have many different jigs, those including like chatterbait, the bladed jig, like punching jigs. There's, these are just like the four main types of jigs in my opinion. All right, first up here is the football jig. You can fish it in rocks, very effective in the rocks because of that football shaped head. It will not get in those crevices of the rocks. It is nice and bulky. You can roll it over some rocks and the fish go crazy over it. But with the football jig, I would throw it on a medium heavy or a heavy setup with anywhere from 15 to 20 pound line, depending on how murky the water is, where you're casting the jig. A good weight with this jig, I would say is anywhere from three eighths ounce to a whole ounce. I've never fished a whole ounce, but especially if you're fishing a pond, say half ounce, but depending on if you're going deeper, you can definitely knock that way up. Now a good trailer I'd use is this. This is the Berkeley Chicker Crawl. This is a three inch crawfish imitation. Now it would work perfectly with this jig because it's black and blue. Some people like to match the color of their jig skirt and their whole jig with the trailer that they put on it. And some people don't, some people will just say like, use a whole different color. I like to stick around the same color. So say I've got a black and blue jig, then I would use black and blue crawl. Now the ways to fish this jig is you can roll it, slow roll it on the bottom and have it just pop against those rocks or you can pop it up. It is a versatile jig, definitely. But that is it for the football jig. Next here we have the swim jig. This jig is also very versatile. You can fish it in grass, along wooded structure. You can fish it really anywhere. Now this is at its best performance through the grass because it will not get hung up anywhere. Um, it just goes straight through the grass really easily. Definitely springtime when that vegetation starts to start growing again. I would use this around the grass there. Now a setup with this, I would say probably just like the football jig, a medium heavy with anywhere from 15 to 20 pound line, maybe even some lighter line than that. Um, I wouldn't say go quite 20 with this. I don't have a lot of experience fishing the grass jig, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and that's basically what I know about it. Now you can pair it up with like another crawl imitation, but my favorite way to rig it up is with a swim bait. Just put it on the back, make sure that's straight and you can straight retrieve it. You can bounce it through the grass or just slow roll it along the bottom. Very versatile, imitates a bait fish very well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the crash jig. Third here, we have the flipping jig. Now this is good for fishing around structure, like wooded structure, lay downs, rocks. It is a very good jig for fishing just those very dangerous places to cast. It's got a really good shaped head that can just go straight through all that structure and, and you can really avoid getting hung up on all that rock. Now with these, I would definitely use heavier line. Probably, I would start with 17 line for me, with maybe 15 again. 15 is a pretty good Texas rig and jig line, but depends on where you're casting it. 
especially when you're pitching into somewhere and you never know if the bass can get you easily hung up. You want to get out of there. You want to horse them in and get them out of there quick. All these jigs have good hooks to them. You definitely want a high quality hook because you're going to be setting that hook really hard. Um, it's got to get past that weed guard and penetrate the fish snout. So again, how you fish this, you can pitch it, you can somewhat sidearm cast it, but pitching and flipping is definitely the best way to do it. If you were wondering, pitch is just, you're holding your bait in your hand and you're just like putting your rod tip down, swinging it out there. You're just trying to like pitch it or like flip it into that specific spot. It's made for very accurate casting now. This works great with a boat or a kayak. It's kind of hard to pitch or flip, especially like on a bank. Um, you can kind of go off the side or like if you have like a skinny part in your pond, you can just go across and that would work pretty well. I would stick with a medium heavy or a definitely m more towards a heavy rod because you're going to set the hook and just horse them in. A medium heavy would do okay, but you might want to have that extra backbone to just horse the fish in because you are not going to be wanting to mess around with the fish because they will get you hung up. And you'll probably lose the jig or just the fish. And some good trailers for this, I would say more crawl presentation, some beaver style baits. You got like this one with a rattler in it. Works pretty well. And that would get the fish attention, especially in some dirtier water. And that is it for the flipping jig. Last but not least here is the finesse jig. This is my favorite jig of them all. Best way to catch fish in my opinion. So this is a much smaller jig. Um, you will not use as heavy of setups. One of my favorite rods is just a seven foot medium action rod. This is a bit of a stiffer medium, but definitely a medium is your best choice with the finesse jig. You can also go to a medium heavy, depending on where you're fishing. Now my favorite rod to throw it on is a seven foot medium, anywhere from seven to seven two. You can even go smaller if you're in a creek. Like this one is definitely smaller compared to this one. Now this jig does shine when it's cold, finicky fish. It just catches the fish when it's cold outside and when they're not seeming to bite. You can slow roll it on the bottom, just like the football jig, you can pop it. So with the line, I would probably throw anywhere from 10 to 15 pound line. Um, you're definitely gonna have a lighter hook set on these fish with it. You're not gonna horse them in. Now this one does have a decent hook on it, but some of them like these have just a little wire, light wire hook on it. Not as strong, but you can still get the fish in. And this one actually I use back in the summer a lot. This is the Z-Man Shrooms jig. It's their finesse jig. Not paired up with their TRD crawls. That is a very buoyant, it sticks like straight up in the water. Very buoyant crawl imitation. Um, you can even throw that on the Ned rig. But yeah, the finesse jig is my favorite way to catch them by far and just works catch them now where to fish this thing you can fish it just in the middle of the creek um some deeper spots just popping off the bottom and on rocks some like rock flats you can fish it really anywhere um just where you think the fish are cast it there you can pop it you can roll it on the bottom just like with most of these jigs um, but yeah, that is about it for the finesse jig. Now I try to keep this video as simple as possible and as informational as I could with and trying to keep it simple. So I hope you guys got to learn something off of this and I hope you guys can go out there and catch some fish on the jigs. When this ice thaws on the pond, I will definitely be using jigs and let me know if you guys want any other videos like this like probably next video i'll go over is like crankbaits and i can go over like texas rigs 
just really anything um, or just like my favorite finesse tactics. I'll probably do that later on. But yeah, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see me do in the future. And I hope you guys could take something from this video and use it and use it on the water and go and catch some fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.